Hello and welcome to the tutorial on how to solve a V cube 7 by 7. Uh, you can see how this is a much larger cube. It has 49 cubes on each side, six sides, and it's like really big. But I'm going to teach you how to solve it. There's a lot of there's only two algorithms you're going to need to know on how to solve this. It's quite simple, but the only thing you're going to need to know is how to solve a 3x3 three three and how to solve a 5x5 five five. but I'm gonna make a 5x5 five five tutorial soon but today we're gonna learn how to solve the 7x7 seven seven, so let's get to solving this one okay the first thing we're gonna need to do is gonna have to scramble it so I'm gonna scramble this and put it back let's do it Okay, you can see how I just got done scrambling the 7x7 seven seven, uh, V cube. Okay, the first thing we're going to need to do, like on the 5x5, five five, we're going to need to learn how to solve the centers. The centers, except on the 5x5 five five, you have to solve the 3x3 three three center. This one we have to solve the 5x5 five five center. So you're going to have to match up 5x5 five five bars going sideways for each side so if we bring these two down we have four so and if we we find another one go in the middle like right there and there see how we have a five by five we're gonna have to make five of those to go on each one of these rows to solve the five the five by five green center Okay, so I'm going to teach you how to uh, solve the first center. Okay, the way you solve the first center is I just told you uh, make bars like that. So after you get done with the bar, just put it on top. Okay, so let me bring this out. See how I made 4 by 4 This is quite simple. You're just going to need a little bit of common sense to make these. The first two centers are easy, so I sh I'm going to show you how to do the second center of this. Bring that up. We have two of them. I'm going to bring that. Going to have to bring that down. Bring that down. Turn. Turn. Yeah. Okay. Got two of them up there. Turn it like that, and we are going to then going to do this. And you just keep on going until you have all the bars. And I'm going to show you how to do some of the bars. Okay, go like that. I'll bring that. Okay. B. What to do? Okay. Now we only need the little center thing. See, I'm going for the two sides and the two middle pieces. Going to go for the middle. If we could find the middle, that's the middle. Turn it all the way like that. Turn it all the way like that. Oh, I forgot a piece. Okay. There you go. We made that 5x5 five five block. We'll bring it up. Well, we have three of them. Okay, now the next two, do these. After this, I'm going to show you how to do the blue side, and then we'll do the other centers. Okay, we'll flip that like this. Okay, we already got that one, so we're going to need to flip it like that. Flip that like that. Turn that. Go like this. Get the center like that. Now we have three. Now we have four, and we're about to have five. We have five right there. Bring that up. We just need one more, and that one more. Some of the pieces on the bottom. So we bring that up, spin it, and bring it down. Have that. Okay, and now we will 
connect these pieces. Connect that one. And we will connect this one. Got four, we just need a little mini center, which will be right here. Bring that up. Oh, now we have five. And then to put it in that place, we just turn it, bring it up, and there we go. We have the solved green side. And now it's time to do the blue side. And as we all know, the 7x7 seven seven has centers, so we know which center and what color is each center. So this is the blue, this green. It's almost exactly like the Rubik's Cube, except for black takes up the white. Okay, now that we have the green side solved, we will flip it over, and we will start with the blue side. 